Welcome back. Today we have a special moment to cover. How and why does Batman break his no-killing rule? Let's begin. This all happens in Injustice God Among Us Year 3. Batman is trying to get Superman's attention, but he is too focused on defending Earth from yet another supervillain. Superman takes his new enemy to space, so their fight doesn't hurt anyone. But he hears a distant voice. Batman is trying to tell him something, but his head feels heavy and he can't quite understand him. Finally he hears it and understands. The alien is Lois. We return to Earth where angry Batman punches the Joker. Superman quickly returns to Earth's atmosphere, hoping Lois is okay. Today he is lucky. Lois wakes up, and she seems okay. Superman is angry. He knows Joker somehow messed with his head, and it almost cost him his love. He is ready to kill him, but Batman stops him. Superman is not going to back down, and wants to go after the Joker. In anger he slips and calls Batman by his real name. Joker hears this, and finally learns Batman's true identity. Batman sends the team to search for the missing nuclear warheads, while he promises Superman that he will question and take care of Joker himself. We cut to the next scene, Batman taking the Joker to Gotham. Joker tries to spark up a conversation with Batman about the missing warheads, but Bruce doesn't care, he knows his team will find them. Joker tells Batman that he is the sole reason for his continued crimes. Ba Batman understands what he has to do now, and in a moment, with one effortless movement of his hands, he breaks Joker's neck. Next we see Batman pulling up to the Gotham police station to turn himself in for the murder of the Joker. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you would like me to cover next. Press like and subscribe, and see you next time.